Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. There are developments in the Deer Kill program of the Forest Preserve District of Will County, Illinois, and I have to say, things are really starting to go off the rails. On April 9, 2015, I gave a public comment about the Deer program at the Forest Preserve Commissioners meeting. I focused primarily on two issues. The first was to contradict Forest Preserve District President Suzanne Hart's false claim that the deer are starving to death. As we demonstrated in our last video, using the district's own records for deer shot in the killing program, the deer are at a healthy weight. The other focus was a district report claiming that its sharpshooters got every deer they shot at. No misses. That claim set off alarms because of this clip wherein a deer that was shot clearly escaped. The district's initial position is that the sharpshooter must have been shooting at a different deer. Well, whatever deer he was shooting at, he conducted a search for that animal for more than a half hour and never found it. That brought us to the district's next line of defense. District President Suzanne Hart now claims that Shark's undercover video wasn't actually shot in the Forest Preserve District of Will County. This is a ludicrous claim, and it isn't even an original. Twenty years ago, in 1995, Shark shot undercover video of a horrific deer slaughter in DuPage County, Illinois, where deer were rocket netted and then killed with a captive bolt gun. The initial defense by the DuPage County Forest Preserve was that it hadn't actually happened there. So we held a press conference right at the kill site and invited district officials and the media to come and see for themselves. The media showed up. District officials did not. That ended the controversy about where it had happened and led to an end to rocket netting, not just in DuPage County, but also neighboring Cook County, which had used this inhumane killing method for decades. So what did we do in Will County? We invited the Forest Preserve officials to come and see for themselves. We brought a laptop computer with video files and set it up so the video could be compared with the actual environment, leaving no doubt whatsoever that our footage was shot right where we had said. No one from the Forest Preserve District showed up. No District President Suzanne Hart, no Rangers, no Chief of Police, no one. Now, if you really thought some animal protection organization was trying to besmirch your good reputation with a scam, wouldn't you have been there to expose it? I know I would. So the list of bogus, nonsensical claims by the Forest Preserve District continues to grow. Our undercover footage showed problems with Will County's program, but we had no idea how many problems there were. Kill teams roving around the countryside instead of sticking to approved bait sites and shooting stations, thereby endangering nearby residents. Inhumane treatment of shot deer. Missed shots. Falsified documents to cover up those missed shots. False claims about starving deer. Threats that we might be prosecuted for filming the deer kill and then claiming the footage we might be prosecuted for wasn't even shot in Will County. Please contact the Forest Preserve District of Will County and request an independent review of its deer kill program. We've become very curious as to why there is so much protection over a tax-funded but obviously mismanaged program. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.